Abundant energy in harmony with nature. Zero emissions. Never burn anything. Part 2 of 2. Transportation. Burning fossil fuels for our inefficient building emits more pollution than transportation or industry. After we stop burning anything in our buildings, our second priority is to stop burning anything for transportation. We must make it our strategic goal to rapidly phase out all internal combustion engines. 86% of the petroleum or biofuels that they inefficiently burn is converted into useless waste heat, which impacts local air temperature and greatly contributes to toxic pollution. In this thermographic image, white is the waste heat given off by the radiators in front of inefficient internal combustion engines. Roughly 52 million barrels of oil each day are uselessly wasted worldwide doing nothing but heating up Earth's delicate atmosphere. This shows that wasteful transportation as usual is outrageous insanity. We must stop building and buying anything that burns deadly, expensive petroleum or biofuels, including the world's worst American SUVs and inefficient, grossly obsolete, deadly diesel freight trucks, trains, airplanes, and ships. Luigi Colani of Germany has demonstrated 18-wheel trucks that cut fuel consumption and emissions in half with nothing more than improved aerodynamics. Powerful zero-emission electric motors will soon make such trucks even more efficient. These are long overdue innovations for trucks that have improved very little since the 1973 OPEC oil embargoes. Nissan will begin delivering their new Green Leaf zero-emission all-electric plug-in rechargeable cars to multiple countries around the world in 2010. The Leaf's in-wheel electric motors total 107 horsepower. They efficiently make it go 90 miles per hour and over 100 miles per charge. It can be quick recharged to 80% capacity in only half an hour. Many similar zero emission cars will become cost effective in the next few years. Simple in-wheel electric motors have few moving parts. They are inexpensive to build. You can have two-wheel or four-wheel anti-skid electric drive. They can go a quarter million miles with almost no maintenance. Upgrading to newer technology is nearly as simple as changing a tire. In stark contrast, internal combustion engines require a lot of complex, inefficient, high-maintenance cost mechanical equipment, which adds many thousands of dollars to their price and is totally unnecessary in electric cars. If we do not stop burning everything, we may have no choice but bamboo bicycles and pedal-powered transportation. When petroleum becomes cost prohibitive, we will be forced to terminate inefficient diesel trucks and trains. The zero emission demonstrated superior alternative is 300 mile per hour all electric magnetic levitation trains like those that are running today in rapid growth China. America's archaic railroad infrastructure is based on Abraham Lincoln's 1860s transcontinental railroad project. We still have lethal railroad crossings with cars, except on interstate highways. USA has fallen very far behind the world's leaders in high-speed, all-electric, efficient and safe railroad infrastructure. America manufactures very few things domestically today. We foolishly sent our jobs, technology, and money overseas. Nearly 95% of what we buy comes to us on diesel cargo chips. The huge Queen Mary II uses efficient outboard electric motor pods instead of direct diesel drive with inefficient transmissions and rudders. Large ship propulsion systems are moving toward very efficient electric motors. Solar-powered, lighter-than-air ships can be used for worldwide zero-emission redistribution of food, etc. We have ignored this extremely efficient technology for far too many decades. Obsolete caveman thinking about burning dirty fossil fuels must be replaced by thinking outside of the traditional petroleum box. Burning oil is without a doubt unsustainable, even in the short term. We must quickly break our bad petroleum addiction to expensive foreign oil. Never burn anything must become the battle cry of the intelligent. 
Petroleum is a dead-end dirt road detour to disaster. Clearly, oil will not be available much longer. Oil is badly damaging our environment and our economy today. The 2008 energy crisis triggered our September 2008 financial collapse that blew a $15 trillion hole in the American economy, causing millions of job losses and home foreclosures. We can ignore the predictable or take immediate action to protect our grandchildren's future. The sooner we take action, the better. Our government must be forced to stop subsidizing burning anything. The United States of America imports over two-thirds of our expensive, deadly petroleum. We are only 4.5% of world population, but we waste 25% of the world's oil and we emit 25% of the world's air pollution. Suppose our oil imports were terminated. Would America suddenly come to an end? No. We would do what we should have been doing since the 1973 OPEC oil crisis. Using off-the-shelf, proven, zero-emission technology, we can reduce our consumption of past peak energy resources to below 4% and become completely energy independent. Clean, green, free fuel, solar, wind, hydroelectric, and geothermal energy will cost far less than the total damage now being done by burning wood, coal, oil, gas, and biofuels. Prosperity and standard of living will rise when we learn to never burn anything and live in harmony with nature. We will never need to fight oil wars ever again. More resources will then become available for health care, education, and jobs. Biofuels are certainly not the answer. Biofuel production consumes nearly as much energy as it yields. It wastes imported oil and consumes farming resources, contributing to worldwide starvation of a billion innocent people. Burning biofuels emits toxins, cancer-causing aldehydes, and contributes to man-made climate change. Never burn anything! Biofuels are absolutely not green, despite what Al Gore says and does. 2008 made us painfully aware of the multiple energy-based crises we are in today. Problem awareness is the first critical step toward new solutions. Our abundant, zero-emission energy future is about to rise. Sunshine makes me happy. No burdensome bills, no burning anything. No worries at all. ZeroEnergyDesign.com Abundant energy in harmony with nature. Zero emissions never burn anything. This concludes part two of two. Please see our other YouTube videos, including our Happy Sunshine song and the detailed information available on ZeroEnergyDesign.com.